How do you make a claim for an argumentative essay? In this lesson, you will learn to make a claim for an argumentative essay by examining evidence. Here's the prompt we will be crafting a complete response to. What kind of people were the crafts? After reading The Great Escape from Slavery of Ellen and William Craft, write an essay that explains your point of view on the crafts. Be sure to support your position with evidence from the text and to acknowledge competing views. Let's review. We'll be using the writing process to craft our response to the prompt. We've already done a close reading of the text, so we're ready to move on to the second step in the writing process. And that's the assignment, or our prompt. Third, we'll generate and plan. Fourth, we'll draft and revise. And the last step is to edit and publish. We will be looking at exactly what the prompt is asking, and then we'll start generating ideas to draft an essay. We've done a close reading of The Great Escape from Slavery of Ellen and William Craft by Marion Smith Holmes. This informational article was based on a book written by the Crafts themselves detailing their journey from slavery to freedom. Through our close reading of this text, we analyzed characters, the author's point of view, of William and Ellen Craft. We also determined the author's message was that the reward of freedom was worth risking their lives for. We learned about the character of both William and Ellen by understanding their backgrounds, noticing how they reacted to dangerous situations, and how they planned and executed a unique escape from slavery. The notes in our close reading will help us as we craft an argumentative essay to answer the prompt, what kind of people were the crafts? Remember, in an argumentative essay, the author states a claim and then supports the claim with evidence. Here are the steps we'll follow to respond to the prompt. First, we'll analyze the prompt to clarify components of a full response. Next, we'll review reading notes and text to craft a response to the prompt. And third, we'll verify there is enough evidence to support your claim. First, we'll need to analyze the prompt to clarify components of a full response. We don't want to spend time writing an answer that doesn't really answer the question. We want to be sure we have all the information that the prompt asks for. So let's take a closer look at the prompt. What is this prompt asking me to do? What kind of people were the crafts? After reading The Great Escape from Slavery of Ellen and William Craft, write an essay Okay, so my answer won't be just a paragraph, I'll be writing an essay that explains your point of view on the crafts. Okay, so I will be um, asked for my point of view or my opinion on what kind of people the crafts were. Be sure to support your position with evidence from the text. Okay, so I'll need supporting evidence and textual evidence and to acknowledge competing views. So I'll also need to include competing views or opposing arguments. I'll keep this sticky note handy so I can refer back to it when I'm finished to be sure that I've made a full response. Our second step is to review reading notes and text to craft a response to the prompt. In order to give my opinion about what kind of the people the crafts were, I'll need to look back at my notes in the text. Now, this was my answer from a reading lesson when we examined how the crafts dealt with the heart and the mouth moments. Even though the crafts were afraid as they faced many heart and the mouth moments, they were brave and determined throughout the journey. Both William and Ellen thought they were going to be caught and returned, but they were so desperate they were willing to take the risks for freedom. They made it through the challenges with quick thinking and their strong faith. Well, I noticed that I mentioned their bravery and their determination and their desperation. I might also want to consider using my notes from the lesson that on the author's point of view of the crafts. The author reveals that she believes William is smart to have planned ahead for their escape. She uses comparisons with other slaves' escapes to attempt, at escape attempts to show how ingenious they were. She shows her admiration for William and Ellen in pointing out that they were 
recognized and capitalized on their unique circumstance, with Ellen being light-skinned. Most other slaves escaped by hiding, but the crafts had to be brave enough to escape in plain sight. Well, she also mentions that they are smart. Um, I think that brave best describes the crafts, in my opinion. Step three is to verify that there is enough evidence to support your claim. I'll go back to some of my thinking that I did during my close reading when I looked at how the crafts dealt with the heart and the mouth moments. This is the passage where we read about William spotting his boss on the platform just as he was taking his place, getting ready to leave on the first train. I asked myself, what does this reaction tell me about the character? And then I noted that I thought William was a risk taker and was afraid but brave and determined. So it seems like this will be good evidence to support my claim that they were brave. And then these are my notes from the rest of that reading lesson. And I noted that both William and Ellen were brave in several of the dangerous moments, so I think there will be enough evidence to support my claim. Now that I've decided on my claim and determined there is enough evidence to support it, I'll jot my claim on this argumentative essay map. This will help me organize my thoughts and evidence as I continue through the writing process. My claim is that the crafts were brave people. So let's review where we are in the writing process. We just analyzed our assignment and started making our claim. We filled out our claim portion to our argumentative essay map. We also looked through our close reading notes in the text to verify that our claim could be supported by sufficient evidence. So next, we'll continue to plan our essay in the third step of the writing process. As we plan, we'll continue to fill out the other sections of our map, so keep that in a safe place for later use. Here are the steps we followed in making our claim. First, we analyzed a prompt to clarify components of a full response. Second, we reviewed reading notes and text to craft a response to the prompt. And third, we verified there is enough evidence to support your claim. In this lesson, you have learned to make a claim for an argumentative essay by examining evidence.